<laughs> Ikea! Chale, those who missed uh, training, those who missed training yesterday, Chale, Chale. <laughs> you, 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 the you question is simple. The question is simple. Eh? Where's your calabash? Aha, uh-huh, my calabash. <laughs> <laughs> Would you drink cocoa? <laughs> Where is your calabash? Big question. You know what? We are building up to the Joy Sports Invitational oh, right. on the first of September. And that's a, a day right after Adun Praise, you know. Yes, how we do it. right <laughs> after Adun Praise. Adun so Praise we go and sing August. in the evening. We go and sing. And then we anoint go ourselves and, and come and play football Eesh. and win. You know, that's very dangerous that's for the very other critical. Season. We're inviting, you know, we've invited some massive companies yes, to do yes, the yes. job. Yes, yes, yes. So on yeah, our today, invitational list, we'll today we hear from Gassem. Yeah, we'll hear from Gassem as they go through. And of course, uh, Sack Nation also. Yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> uh, of course. Represent, uh, yeah, because you know, Ameri is playing in there. Hey, Tali. <laughs> Sack Nation is featuring and then whoa. Big Time. Okay. And I'm Mary. And then, yes, yes. Okay, yes, all right. Yes, yes. So and let's, uh, let's do this. We'll so meet all of you in, in the place there. Uh, <laughs> the Joy Sports Center is proudly brought to you <laughs> by the kind courtesy of, uh, oh, of Sack Nation. Ameri- I mean, uh, MTN. Okay, no. Sack. M- MTN. MTN, please. Oh, wow. Good. MTN. Friends. Welcome to the We'll be our master of this world. Yeah, anyway, anyway. anyway. Let's, let's go. go, let's go. <laughs> well, like George said, MTN uh, Sports Center is not brought to you by, is not brought to you by Mary or Sack Nation. Supported please. by Sack Nation. It's MTN. Welcome to the new world. Standard Chartered <laughs> Bank here for good. FPAC blows your pain away and multi TV just thrills. And Cowbell Gold Energy for winners. Now, MTN Momo is the easiest and fastest way to do all your financial transactions. You can use MTN Momo to send money, receive money, pay your bills, pay school fees, salaries, allowances, and also pay for your goods and services at any merchant point. Observe the three golden rules to keep your MTN Momo account safe and secure. Keep your MTN Momo pin safe. It's your secret. Don't give away your MTN Momo transaction details. And three, perform all your MTN Momo transactions yourself. Keep your account safe and secure and continue to enjoy a fast and convenient MTN Momo experience. Just dial star 170 and Momo it everywhere you go. Now another academic year is here with us and Standard Chartered is ready to welcome back our students with Vim in the Standard Chartered Pay With Ease promo. Begin now at the, the end of September. Uh, between now and the end of September, students of University of Ghana and KNUSC can pay their academic and facility user fees at any Standard Chartered Bank branch across the country and win lots of goodies including iPads, flat screen TVs, branded notepads, pens and many more. You can make your payments at any of our collection points on UG Legon main campus, Accra City campus and KNUSC main campus when you return to school to begin your registration or simply pay ahead before school reopens and presents your slip at our campus branches to redeem your prize. Welcome back to school, the Standard Chartered way. Have a semester to remember. Standard Chartered here for good. Semester to remember. I semester chart- you got, to remember. You, you. Hey. you know what? There's a transfer window, transfer window, all transfers. You could be transferred from, you know, the energy ministry to another ministry, actually. <laughs> or to out. my home. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, President Akufado is a staunch fan of Real Madrid. You know that? Oh, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. You know, every transfer window has its own drama. And it looks like this time the cast would involve Chelsea and Real Madrid. Now, the Blues goalkeeper, Thibaut Courtois, could be the main character. He has been linked with a move to the Spanish Giants and failed to report for training with Chelsea yesterday. It's understood the Blues do not know when the 26-year-old Belgium international will return. Chelsea winger Eden Hazard has also been linked with Real, but attended training yesterday. Belgium football journalist Christophe Corey has been following the story. We have found a replacement. We can't uh, give a green light for, for this move, so, so it might end up... Uh, on Thursday at four o'clock that they suddenly find a new goalkeeper. They they are searching for a solution for this situation because they already know for a while since January when Courtois rejected uh, a new contract offer, 
that he wasn't going to sign a new deal and they need know his personal situation with his kids living with his former partner in madrid him wanting to be closer to them and yeah pursuing a challenge in madrid too his mind has never left madrid after he spent three years on loan over there still he dreams of of madrid and that's what chelsea know too and i don't think it club can make a gamble on letting the goalkeeper go for free next summer because then they won't have any money for him to re to buy a replacement either so now they will get let's say 30 or 40 million pounds for him and they can still buy a good replacement for him so i think that's why they are camp chelsea are waiting till the last day to, to find a replacement Okay, we'll find out what happens there. It's two days to the English Premier League transfer deadline day and clubs continue to scramble for the last-minute deals. Rob Schofield has a wrap of dealings last night. Fulham are close to completing the signing of Arsenal defender Callum Chambers on a season-long loan deal. An agreement has been reached between the clubs, but personal terms are yet to be finalised. The promoted side, Fulham, are the third biggest spenders in the Premier League this window, having brought in high-profile names such as German World Cup winner Andre Schürrle and Ivory Coast midfielder jean michel Seri. Or one of the other newly promoted sides, Wolves, are set to sign Spanish winger Adama Traore for a club record fee after meeting the $23 million release clause in his Middlesbrough contract. West Ham are closing in on the signing of Arsenal forward Lucas Perez. The 29-year-old joined the Gunners from Deportivo La Coruña two years ago but was loaned back to his old club last season. Newcastle have signed striker Salomon Rondon from West Brom on a season-long loan with Dwight Gale heading to the championship side in the same deal. The Venezuela international Rondon, that is, scored seven Premier League goals for the relegated baggies last season. And Burnley's move for Sam Klukas is off after they failed to agree personal terms with the Swansea City midfielder. Now back home, the Black Princesses coach, you see Basig, is hopeful of having his star players fit for the second group game against the Netherlands at the ongoing FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in France. Ghana lost the opening game 4-1 to host France and anything short of a victory in tomorrow's game will end the Princesses' dreams of making a historic quarter-final appearance. Coach, you see Basig, is hopeful of making it, especially with his star players returning. Well, you know, as we all know, the football is a contact game. There were knocks here and there. I wouldn't say injury that uh, will rule the player out of play. But um, looking at the, the nature of the knocks that they had at our last sessions before we came, um, we, the doctors were working on them in order to uh, put them in shape. So it isn't something that will, uh, will take them out of uh, competition. Hopefully, our next game it will be fit enough. Now, the Black Princess's participation of the tournament was facilitated by the liaison team led by Dr. Kofi Amwa. Now, since the appointment of the two-man team by FIFA to overlook the country's participation in international competitions following the current football situation in the country, opinions and views have been shared on the workings of the committee. Former Ghana Football Association Executive Committee member Randy Abbey thinks they are doing well. Well, I think so far uh, they've been doing well. They've tried to meet the clubs and interact and... And, and I mean, assure everybody that they mean well. I think that uh, there are a lot of constraints, but I think they are doing uh, quite well. Um, I would want a situation where, you know, it's an interim thing. So it's not a long-term kind of thing. So you either have a normalization or you have the FA back, and then you get things done properly and well-structured and all that. You know, because there's a lot to be done. Uh, if you look at, even the recent issue of their writing to Gaka for views on reforms and uh, the reaction of the clubs, only 17 deciding to respond to it out of about 64 clubs and all that. And a lot of the clubs then raising issues of jurisdiction because of the nature of the assignment that was given to them per the appointment letter and all that. You know, so we need to move beyond the liaison. They are doing well. I mean, that's part of the constraints, but we need to move beyond that and, and get things done. Now, Deputy Sports Minister Pius Enam Hadide is calling for major reforms in Ghana sports with specific attention to travelling for international competitions. Now, Pius Enam, who was recently reinstated by President Nanako Akofo Ado following police investigations which cleared him of any wrongdoing in the Commonwealth Visa scandal, says matters relating to travelling of national teams need major reforms. I think that we have to drive 
major reforms, especially when it comes to our international engagements. I mean, uh, apart from the, this Commonwealth Games, like you're saying, a lot of traveling is involved uh, in, in the sports area. I think that we need to end already. The Honorable Minister has announced, uh, even before the Commonwealth Games, we had started pushing some reforms as far as travel of uh, national teams and federations were concerned. I think that we should uh, push hard on it and ensure a strict compliance uh, with these regulations that uh, the Honorable Minister, when we met uh, the federation some time ago, he announced a 10-point agenda uh, reforms that we were pushing. I think that we need to uh, uh, make sure that we enforce uh, those, 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 those our regulations to, to the latter. Boxer next and lightweight, you know, Richard Comey says he is ready for any opening as he looks forward to becoming Ghana's ninth world champion. Comey last Saturday proved too strong for Yardley Cruz as he recorded a convincing second round win over the Mexican in the lightweight contest. Comey, who is the IBF number one contender, used the fight to stay fit ahead of his world title fight against IBF belt holder Mikey Garcia. Now, the way forward is just, uh, I'm just waiting. My promoter. My manager are gonna start negotiation and then we we'll see what happened. And then I mean that is it. I'm I'm going for the war title. If uh Garcia takes it fine, if he doesn't and then he vacates it, then looking forward to fighting in New York once again for the war title and then hopefully I'll be a world champion before the year ends. Thank you very much. I really appreciate. It. God bless. Oh, God bless. God bless. You know what? In our first episode of the season's Choice Sports Invitational Diaries, the Vans first stop was at the premises of Africa's leading cement manufacturing company, Gassem. Baba Tando was there. Gassem will come into this year's tournament as former champions of the CEO's penalty shootout and holders of the Team Spirit Award. They say they will approach the Joy Sports Invitational Tournament as France approached the last FIFA World Cup. Here is team manager Benny Fifi Ishan. We'll take everything like it's a World Cup, even though we're going to be just having fun on the field. So every discipline that you put us to, all the trophies that you have on the table, we'll not tell you how many of them we're picking away, but do not be surprised that we'll take majority of them away, to be realistic. And guess what? Lionel Messi will be at the Lizzy Sports Complex on September 1. And I'm a skillful player. I support Messi. And I'm very skillful, so I learned from him. Team Spirit, hi if you ask me. See you soon at your corporate office as we gear up for the 2018 Joy Sports Invitational Tournament. Master, you didn't even bring a calabash. No, 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 no. Please, please. You can't be doing this. First September, Joy Sports Invitational. There's more coming up. Watch out for our van. We're coming to your company to run the interviews. And you know, of course. you've got to run your mouth like you're doing. Hey, Messi. You have been training Messi. with Messi. In Gassem. Hey, Gassem. In Gassem. Gassem for. Mm. Okay, anyway, that's it for the Joy Sports Center. I thought he was going to say uh, he uses a, a concrete ball to train. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Messi in Gassem. Anyway. <laughs> or maybe they do their. They, they run know, down sir. the field carrying bags for seven. Know, sir, Messi in Gassem. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Gassem's messy. We'll see what happens. All right. Maybe you can call it Gassem's or something. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs>